Today we're in the regional print centre and uh, we're going to print the colour graph plate that we made um, in, in the last colour graph video that, that we put together. Um, um, as you can see, um, the print centre, we've got all the facilities with the press. We're going to be using um, a, a workhorse press, I would call it, rather than anything else. Um, which is great for colour graphs, quite a weight to it. Okay, so let's get cracking. Okay, printing today. Um, obviously, I've got the plate that I made before. Uh, inking slab, uh, palette knife to mix with. Um, we're using the uh, Acura um, Intaglio inks, um, which I quite like. Um, we're going to wipe the plate with rags, brushes, cotton buds, and we have some yellow pages to help wipe clean, followed by tissue. So I'm going to start off by inking up certain areas of the plate with the um, burnt orange colour, really. I'm going to apply it with a brush. So, just brushing onto these shapes that I've made here. What I did do with this plate before I started inking it up, um, because it's got masking tape on, um, I've run it through the press just to um, add some pressure to the tape to help seal it, seal the tape to the um, to the plate, to the cardboard, not board I should say really. So in there. Apply it in these strips here. Let's make sure it gets in all the little nooks and crannies that we have. The paper that I'm printing on is going to be Somerset Velvet. It's 250 grams. Um, a very nice paper. So I'm inking up the plate. I always find with this type of printmaking that we're doing, um, the first print I get off, uh, it comes off the press. I'm never really happy with it's the it's due to the ink settling onto the plate, and um, it's your first impressions. You need to get an impression to to influence your decision how you're going to move forward with um, inking up the plate. So I'll apply, I'll carry on applying all this into these areas and then I'm going to wipe these areas clean and then move on to Just that bit done. So now I will take um, a cloth and I'm going to start wiping some of these areas. Um, particularly around the area where I don't want the ink, the orange to sit. I try and remove as much of that as possible. You probably notice that I'm not wearing gloves, but I tend not to wear gloves. I'm quite careful with um, all the processes that I use. Um, I manage to control them quite well. Plus, these inks are so easy to clean up with basically just washing up liquid um, soapy water will clean everything that you apply this to so i've got to that stage now um, i've got the orange on the plate i'm going to move on to the blue now 
So the blue I'll apply with uh, a little piece of card. So just taking uh, a little bit of ink on the edge of the card, I'm just going to scrape it. Over the surface of the plate, trying to keep it out of the the orange areas that I've inked up. You'll see that as you're inking the plate up, areas are becoming more defined. Um, you can see where the um, spray varnish and the, the effects that the varnish um, I applied using um, the spatter brush um, is becoming a lot more um, defined. So taking your brush, I'm just going to go back over the areas um, that I've missed and just make sure it's got a covering of ink on those areas. find that when with this ink um, you take it out of the pot and it's quite loose it's quite a loose ink but as you're working with it it does tend to thicken up somewhat which is can be quite useful so I don't want any white left on the plate so I'm just gonna try and force the the blue into these areas <coughs> I'm gonna wipe this area clean to start off with really I think be a lot neater way to work really because I can hold the bottom of the plate here I can just go around just doing the first wipe
Okay, let's move on to using the yellow pages. And again, working on the blue. You do need to, when you're wiping with this, you do need to move um, the yellow page paper around because once it takes up ink like that, you won't be taking any more off, you'll just be moving it around. So. I'm gonna leave the, the orange until last because it's the area that um, it's the lightest colour and I'm hoping that I can get that a lot cleaner than what it is. Another sheet of yellow pages. So I'll link up the bottom half of this plate now in that particular colour. So I've got this to a stage where I'm happy to move on to the the final wipe um, using the using tissue paper. So now I'm going to go back to the circles and just reapply the, the orange to the circles. Right, so we're at the stage now where I'm going to be ready to put this through the press and see what the first impression is. <laughs> 